Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am truly zonked and I'm starting a new job next month. Yay! Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Uh, so, anyways, welcome back to my playthrough of Mist Survival. And, uh, what was I doing last episode? I forgot. I, uh, uh,. Ah, it doesn't matter right now. We are basically continuing our preparations for the pending update, which may or may not just render all the work that I've done here recently uh, moot, but we'll see. Better safe than sorry, right? So anyways, what uh, I kind of had in store today is um, I wanted to complete a couple little things. One thing I want to try really quickly, I, I caught on to something in uh, my inventory that I had not really paid attention to before and I feel like a little bit of adult because uh, I'm good at that and uh, that is in the inventory if we go under key items I had completed a quest in the past from uh, Rachel to get the compass but I never figured out how to make it work and then I realized if you go under gears which is just gear you know um, and you see that there's a slot here for the compass I never noticed this before and if you actually click on it you get a crafting option and it required the screwdriver which I just picked up so I'm gonna proceed uh, it's gonna take an hour it's nine o'clock that's just fine okay so all right um... Okay, so now I've got the compass. Now, how do I use it? Press tab to use, okay. So, I don't see a compass indication on the tab menu. Oh, that's because I switched those. There it is. Yeah, I switched my inventory to be tab because it's just uh, so normal that way. I've never gotten that before and uh, Okay, so let's let's uh, close out this night here. And you gotta keep that open the whole time, though. I mean, stat bars are nice to have up, but uh, it kind of gets in the way of a uh, yeah, whatever. Let's sleep. Okay, let's shut off the Jenny. We are down to twelve point seven. And I don't have any in reserve yet. Oh, stuttering. Okay. So, let's, uh... Get some breakfast. I do have landscapers doing their work outside right now. So, if you're here, the lawnmowers or weed whackers, I apologize. Sometimes I think these guys just do extra lax, laps for the sake of padding time. Um, let, me see, let me put that screwdriver away. It's the only one I've got. And I don't feel like losing it to something stupid. And... Dehydrate. Drink, drink, drink. So, one thing I did is I uh, went to fill up one of my water bottles, and I not only forgot the water bottle, but I did a give instead of a take. Um, so, that that's just... Uh, I don't call myself truly zonked for nothing. Okay. So, here's my water freshened. Um, we could stand to get another cycle of water uh, boiling down here. So, let me uh, go down to the lake. You know what else I need to get going? I need to start making some more bandages. Ooh, I've got a couple of them already distilled here. I'll we'll just take these. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? Ah, crap. First, I, I need more water. We'll go. Ahead. You know what I need to do is I need to make more buckets. I'm not going to do it right now, but I need to make more buckets so I can... Uh, 
and probably another water barrel so I can keep uh, some uh, unsafe water on hand. But let me let me fetch more water really quickly here. Okay, so let me first just load the water that I need. I believe that's all it takes is the 10 liters, right? How many liters of course? Oh, okay, won't let you. 12. All right, good. That's fine. Oh, no. Arg! I put in my freaking fresh water. Okay, so I've got a... All right, topped out at 20 liters. Let me see as I wasted two liters of clean water. Let me just... That was smart. Okay, uh, drop the buckets. Now... Okay, let me do... I want to move some containers from out of the house and into the garage. This stack of containers here, I've kind of uh, made into distilling and bandage supplies. Uh, one of these is sugar, right? Bottles there is. And that one, uh, okay, is for the actual liquor itself. All right, let me move this stack of boxes to the garage. Okay, and let me... Okay, so that's the actual liquor I've, I've brewed already. Cloth will need to make the bandages, but for now I pick up bottles. Sugar. And wait. Where's... Oh, and I got the water. That's what I needed. Uh, and... <laughs> The funny thing about this is you don't need to have <laughs> wood matches or tinder to start that going. So, um, go figure. Anyway, so let's put away the extras. Okay, so that's on the way. And actually, we're going to take... Oh, top one. What we've got distilled so far. And these are freaking expensive. Because you really do... You, you need a bunch of... Uh, uh, I think it's two... Where's, uh... Yeah, two bottles of liquor to make one bandage. Which, I, I think that's just pricey as hell, considering how long it takes to make uh, those two bottles of liquor. So, anyways, um... Can I make another? No. Why is it green? I'm not holding any liquor, but it still shows me as, as green for, uh... It didn't update. Let me see if I click off and click back on it. Yeah, now it shows the correct numbers. So, all right, let me do, 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 put away the, the leftover rags here. And so, so those are rolling. That's nice. Uh, let's see now. Okay. One of the things, let's see, check our time is 820. Uh, let me look at something here. Yeah, yeah. Let me put these away. I don't need these on me for the moment. Uh, let me... Two, three, four, five, six. I need to get some low-quality ingots. I started running to where <laughs> where Game Edge has his smithy place going. Um, one, two, three. Okay, let me get those smelting down. I need to smash some more cars, and I need to um, uh, get more bear fat. Um, okay, now also um, today is we're on we're on day forty six, so I, I I think it's day forty five or every forty five days I should say. Um, that gasoline respawns in uh, the abandoned cars. So, um, that's a good time to, uh, start collecting more. In fact, I'm gonna, I've got an extra jerry can over here. Let me pick that up. That doesn't have anything in it, does it? it uh, no, it does not. Okay. And, um, 
All right, so let me drop a save. And do I need to take anything with me? I'm going to take some, uh, a little bit of meat with me here. Let's close up. Let me switch around, put my sticks in there. And, uh, yeah, that looks something like order. All right. So let's do some car smashing and get through this quickly here. Oh, I meant to check one thing. I need to see. Do I have any leftover stuff in here? I think uh, now these I keep loaded with extra tools and things, some emergency car supplies, and these. Okay, good. I, I, I got plenty of room here. So let me uh, well, pick up any branches that fall in our way here. Um, nothing spawned over here, but uh, let's check for the gasoline. Um, I might have to sweep through there. Let's see. 2.65. We will take it. 109. Fill the can. Take the can, take the can, take the can, 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 take the can, take the can, take the can, can, can. Cage 848, I love that guy, man, and, and uh, he would always forget to, to take the, <laughs> the can out of the car, and so he invented a little song to sing for himself so that he would keep from forgetting it. I don't think there's anything to harvest from down here. Yeah, no, let's get back and let, keep heading down the road. Alright, let's uh, check this one. Sure, it all counts. No, not that one. Alright, let's proceed down the road. Oh, nothing that's respawning in the trunks though, right? I don't think anything respawns in the trunks. One thing that has happened in the past is with uh, with some updates, uh, loot gets respawned. And in my personal game save, uh, I've got like massive amounts of stuff. Just I mean like ludicrous amounts uh, because you know the, with updates, you know things got respawned multiple times, and I just scooped it all up. I mean to, to the point of absurdity. But uh, let's see, what's there down this? Let's buzz past these guys. Be careful about getting out around that car. And... We do want you. Okay, good. I didn't feel like taking a shot. Yeah, you know, Sleepy Balrog and I were going... <laughs> back and forth about why I have been able to one-shot these bears when it's never worked out for him. He was describing to me that, uh, I want my arrow. I can't get my arrow. Let me move my car. Um, he was describing, like, going through stacks of arrows. And, uh, you know, he, he was surprised that I was able to, like, kill them with one or two shots and I think the nearest thing that we, we came down to was that shooting them from above uh, seems to be a, a vulnerability point you gotta hit them in the top of the head or at least that's what it looks like to me um, so uh, is it definitive I, I, I don't know mm, low on arrows I thought I had full full load here, but uh, let me restock these quickly. Okay. Oh, let me smash that car if I can get in there safely. Yeah. 
And we got the mist coming in. This is a nice convenient place to have it though. We will just uh, spend a little, sleep away a little time here at the, at the motel. Oh, they're howling right outside the door there. I thought they were inside the room for a moment. The mist is still on. We're killing this afternoon here. Are they gone? Let's uh have our lunch. It's turning three in the afternoon. The afternoon is definitely evaporating away here. Okay, let's uh, keep the scavenger run rolling here. So can't, jerry cans are almost half full. Now, did I pick up... I think there's a jerry can that spawns over here. I must have picked it up already. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn this show around. Things should start respawning in behind us now. I want to make this run count. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this run. Let's, uh... Get back to base and unload our uh, collections. Is there, wait, hold on. Did I not just... I thought I drove by... Yeah, here. Check this car for gas. Nope. Okay. Alright. Now... Let's see... One thing we're going to do is I, I am going to resort these uh, these storage containers here. I want to make one locker dedicated to batteries, one locker dedicated to spark plugs, uh, and have them sorted out. And I'm just going to junk the lowest quality ones. Uh, I will get there, though, eventually. So, um, ooh, I've got lots of components going on here. Huh. I clicked a uh, shift clicked at a full stack. I thought it would merge with the partial stack in the locker and leave me the remainder. Nope. It just threw out the difference. And uh Yeah, shift click is is that's some dicey stuff in this game. Did not get as much uh well let me see, hold on, did I put I put more away in the truck, didn't I? Got the bear meat, or bear fat rather. Yeah, did not get as much uh, scrap metal as I was hoping. What's our time? It is 20 to 5. And more plastic water bottles than I'll ever need, unless they, unless uh, he builds in some use for them. Let's uh, start the. Uh, the fat rendering. We'll go ahead and close the door. I've got everything off the truck I need. Now let's chop some firewood quickly. I was going to get more bears, but, uh... Eh. Okay, that should be enough. 
We've got a gear to put away. Carrying a saw. Oh, that's right. I picked that up from one of the. Uh, oh, that's right. That's what we were doing uh, yesterday. As we were uh, filling out the backpack, I found a saw. Okay. Let me toss these extra components on the ground here. And we'll stash these uh, logs and scrap. Oh, didn't I already have some? That doesn't matter. Okay. Um, planks. Why don't I toss these planks? Uh, Now, see as we collect, we can collect the 13 liters of uh, gas out there. Let's just go ahead and top up the truck. And I believe that totals at 50. Yeah. So we've got a full tank of gasoline. <laughs> That'll literally last us forever. Um, we could use, you know, our surplus because I'm going to continue collecting it as we start going, you know, revisiting other areas. We could use it in the generator, but the generator really, you know, chows through it. And uh, to me, that's just not a, uh, an efficient use of gasoline there. I mean, we'll be collecting a surplus of gasoline, but if we use it in the generator, we'll just destroy it. Uh, and then we got to wait another 45 days for the cars to respawn. I, I, it's just not worth it to me. All right, so... Um, Now, let's see. So, we've got our ingots, the, the, the low quality. And uh, I believe I've got some. Those are regular iron. Yeah, I've got some uh, other low quality metal ingots. And we're just going to stack these here. So, we've got one full stack and a partial. And. Uh, what I wanted to really work toward here is I need to go back down to the mine. Uh, the mine with the Berserker and load up more on some uh, sulfur and saltpeter and copper. Uh, let's see, not this case here. So let me see. I got a couple ingots of copper, a little bit of saltpeter, a little bit of... Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's I, I'm really not as well stocked as I thought. Um, did I have another? You know something? Let me do this really quickly. I want a locker in the in the garage dedicated to. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. To ammunition supplies. So let me do this. Let me transfer. Take all that. And I think I've got a little bit of gunpowder in one of these. Yeah. And we're just going to move this stuff out here. Now. I'm going to keep the, um, the brass over by the smithy. And, um, let me see something. I think we can get somebody started. How am I doing? Um, that's my, that's the rifle ammo. I'm not so worried about that. I do lean on the hunting rifle, so the 7.62 is very important to me. Um, I'm okay with shotgun ammo. I could use a little bit of 9 mil. Maybe I will go for some... Let me see, do I have any casings already made? Hold on, let me check that really quickly. I might have stashed them in here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, and I've got some extra gunpowder here. Now, which ones? Uh, let's see. So, 
I do, I've got lots of 762 cartridges good and 45 cal cartridges that's for the rifle right not the Colt Right, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure why he calls that for the 45 caliber when they are for the, uh, the, uh, the M4. Because um, you, you can't, you know, craft the, uh, the ammunition for the, uh, for the revolvers, um, which honestly makes it a kind of a useless weapon to me. And they're great, but there's so little of that ammunition out there that it's just... I, it doesn't work for me. Um, all right, so let me stash these here in our ammunition chest, which is already nearly full. Um, all right, so I really don't need anybody making any cartridges right now. I thought I was going to... I just need the actual gunpowder ingredients so I can start... Um, let's see, we'll take this brass ingot, throw it in here so that it can be used to make cartridges in the future. Let me put this other little uh, stack of ingots away. That, okay, it did stack, all right. Um, so, one other thing that we're gonna wanna do is I wanna finish the elevator down in the, uh, the basement of that mine and uh, Let's talk with Scott really quickly, because he's got a quest that we need in order to complete that. Yes, heard you need to fix the old wires. I can show you how to craft copper wire. Should be useful to you. Just bring me two copper ingots, two metal scrap, and two component box. Okay, maybe next time. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Uh, okay, so that's him. Now we've got a quest. Uh, how many copper ingots do I have here? I have one. Yeah, and I've only got four copper ore, so that's not even enough. You need a full stack of eight ore to make one copper ingot, so I need to get to the... You know something? This is bugging me. I'm tired of this bat. I hate bats. They suck. They're just useless. Goodbye! Alright, um, time is quarter of seven what can I do quickly right now I want to sleep uh, I want to get down to the mine for the morning let's uh see if we got any cans of fat ready we got one here that's good we got one here that's good we'll go ahead and load these up Okay, we got a partial can left. Good. We'll throw out this empty, and we'll stick our surplus in the chest. All right. That is... That's beautiful. We've been working toward that for a while. And... I feel like I should be having somebody working on something. I'm not going to need planks for a while, so I'm going to stick this back in the garage. That's got a way to go. That's got a way to go. Um, all right, you know something? This is a good time. Let me do a little sorting of my batteries and spark plugs here. All right, so that didn't take terribly long, and now I've got a full locker full of uh, spark plugs here, ranging from 53.8 to 35.7%. And I've got a full locker of batteries from 55.0 to 26.3%. Uh, I know I've got... I could probably trade out the ones in the uh, the truck, including the spares that I've got. I, I'm just not worried about that. We will never <laughs> use... Uh, or at least it is highly unlikely, unless something drastically changes about the mechanics in this game. We'll never use those batteries. Um, or at least not that many of them. Ah, uh, let's see. Our time. It is going on 8 o'clock. And, uh... Yeah, so... We've got some good things done so far. You know, um... Okay. I think we're going to close this one out here. 
Uh, I had wanted to get down to the mines, but I think we're basically prepped to go mining now. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be a good time to go mining in uh, the next episode. So, um, I want to thank you again for joining me. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see me make more, please subscribe. Uh, so until next time, stay healthy and take care out there. What are you doing, Kate? Where'd you go?